Today we're going to be extracting my Ristocin. That's how I believe it's pronounced. I'm not exactly sure, but we're going to be extracting this out of nutmeg. Um, there's the molecular structure right there with the benzene ring in the center. And it's C11H12O3. So for this, you're going to need, of course, some nutmeg. I got a little thing right here. You need acetone. Or else you need one or two beakers. Graduated cylinder is optional to measure acetone. A scale. And up here I have a reflux uh, setup. So to start, we're going to need to measure some nutmeg. And we're just, let's see how much. What? We're going to do around 5 grams. Five point one one grams. So, and then we're just gonna put this into our flask right up there. So I'll get that in, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I put the nutmeg inside my rum bottom flask right there. And instead of doing five, I decided to put up to ten, just so I have a little bit more in there. So now we're going to want to measure out around twenty milliliters of acetone. Let me just get some ass to import this beaker real quick. It doesn't have to be exact, it just has to be around 20 milliliters. That's 20 milliliters per every 5 grams, so then we're about 40 actually. Sorry about that guys. And now we're just going to want to get our acetone inside of our uh, bottom flask here. There we go. Now, instead, if you don't have acetone, you can also use uh, ethanol. But I just have more, ethanol, uh, more acetone, so I'm just using that instead. So oh, I got this stirring. Oh, that's neat. So turn up the heat and then stir it. There we go. And you're also going on to turn on your reflux system. There we go. Just plug this in real quick. So we got it heating and stirring right now. So we're just going to let this reflu reflux for approximately an hour. Now, while that's reflexing, I'll talk to you about my Ristocin. Ristocin is a psychoactive substance, and uh, it's not controlled, but it's ex extremely dangerous to take. It can create all sorts of hallucins, hallucinations, and it's just not good. It can make you extremely sick. Some people have even died from taking too much nutmeg again. So and it can cause extreme dehydration so you never want to ingest pure nutmeg or my ristocin. so there's some, just some words of caution okay I'll come back to you when this started refluxing okay guys so I got the hopefully my ristocin, uh my ristocin, uh extracted from this nutmeg I got in the solution with the acetone right here and I am just going to pour it through this coffee filter into this gravity filter. I'm not going to film this part. It's really not that exciting. I'm sure anyone who watches chemistry has seen it a hundred times. So I'll see you guys when this is done filtering. Okay, guys. So I got uh, most of it filtered. Just a little bit um, filtering through into the jar over there through the gravity filtration. Uh, there's not that much left. I poured some acetone to clean clean it. It's uh, this. I guess you could say orangey brown color. Um, and I'm just blowing off some of the acetone. 
so I can get the pure product. I'm probably gonna try to recrystallize it. I'll make it. I'll make. I'll include this in this video. So once that starts, almost done boiling. I will. Once it's uh, as I said, almost done boiling. I'll show you it. Take it off. Let it uh, almost recrystallize on its own in the acetone solution. So see you in a second then. Hi guys, this is so boring, but I want to point something out to you. Um, here is some of the uh, nutmeg after. Uh, there we go. After the extraction, or the hopeful extraction of my ristocin. You can see it's sort of a different color. Here's the original nutmeg. Which you can see is much darker compared to this. Get both of them frame. There we go. So there was some compounds extracted. You know that for a fact now. Besides the obvious color change in the acetone. I'm suspecting that there also is some maybe organic dye extracted from the nutmeg. We'll have to find out when uh, the acetone finishes boiling off. So, see ya in the next frame. Okay guys, so I got most of this evaporated, most of the acetone evaporated out of it. As you can see, it's turned into a paste-like. It's very pasty. It sticks to everything. And so that's it so far. I'm going to let this dry out longer to see if it turns into a solid. If it doesn't, I guess I'll just dilute it a little bit of acetone to keep it a liquid. But other than that, that's how good it, that's how it went so far.